video on importance of sunscreens with summers right around the corner they've already actually started but with summers right here i've wanted to do a video on sunscreens and i'm so happy that neutrogena partnered up with me for this video but all opinions are my own no matter if it's sponsored or not so currently i've been trying out the neutrogena ultra shield dry touch sunblock this has spf 50 plus and it also has helioplex technology which is like a broad spectrum technology what broad spectrum helioplex technology in layman language means that it gives you protection like a holistic protection against uva uvb and a lot of other rays and not just uva or uvb type ray because sun just gives out all sort of rays it's it's ray mysterio okay it's giving out rays like to everyone and yes because we've been harming our ozone layer so much we're at so much risk now first of all i want to talk about the importance of sunscreen and why you should apply it then we'll be moving on a little bit more onto this sunscreen and why i particularly like it and lastly i have like an over realistic makeup tutorial for you all which i believe that even after watching like a gazillion of tutorials on youtube or for that matter i want to say there that like, even if i do like bam shabam tutorials on youtube at the end of the day if we are going out daily this is the type of look that we generally wear and yes it is over realistic as i said so yes if you want to see all of that then please keep on watching first things first the importance of sunscreen now you should wear a sunscreen for a lot of reasons because sun rays can harm us externally as well as internally externally they obviously lead to tannin which is a problem for so many girls out there so if you wear like a proper sunscreen that would be reduced to a certain extent it wouldn't be like completely gone but yes to a certain extent it would be taken care of then secondly it can lead to a lot of skin disorders like pigmentation hyper hypo both so yes that is another reason and then more seriously it can also lead to skin cancer yes i know sun rays like it's supposed to give us vitamin d and it's giving us cancer <sighs> that's what us humans have done to our nature so yeah we gotta deal with it with our own shit so those were some of the reasons why you should invest in a sunscreen and actually wear it daily as well now i'm going to move on to the neutrogena ultra sheer dry touch sunblock this is what it looks like and it retails for about 549 rupees for 88 ml of product it's a very nice size it will last you for a really long time because you don't need a lot of it you can use it both on your face and on your body as well again which is a nice thing you don't need to invest in two different sunscreens you can slather it on your face as well as on your body as i just said now i've talked about the helio plus technology which is like a broad spectrum thing like i told you guys earlier in the video but yes it also is very matte to touch like a soft matte finish not like a matte matte finish but it's a very soft matte finish it doesn't dry out your skin because i am from the dry skin family and i know when sunscreens like really dry you out they feel like stretching and everything oh that's the worst feeling but yes it doesn't dry your skin out which is a very good feeling and it also just stays in place for a really long time however i would like to add that you have to reapply sunscreen to keep its spf level in place and keep you protected from harmful sun rays it's not like you can apply just one time and be all yolo about it at least try to do that on your body if not on your face because obviously if you have some sort of makeup on your face you can't re -up, you know you can't just go on reapplying a sunscreen over and over again so try to do that on your body but if you're on a beach or a vacation like that please ensure that you reapply your sunscreen quite frequently to keep your skin all protected and nice so yes coming back to this baby right here why i like it even more is because it has a very mild fragrance which goes away once you apply it but when you're applying it's very mild it feels really nice again i wish there was like a smell feature on youtube where you can sniff the things that i'm applying on my face because sometimes they're so good i feel like smell it smell it smell it but sadly i can't do that so technology should really step up you know technology it's time you evaluate yourself but <laughs> yes anyway coming back to this so this is sweat proof as well now i really don't sweat on my face that much but i do set sweat on my body sometimes slightly so i did try this in my gym while i was gymming and it is sweat proof you can know it is sweat proof because sometimes when you apply a lotion or a sunscreen what happens is that um when you're sweating it's sort of like creates a very icky sort of a layer i don't know how to correctly put it in words but if you have ever had that moment you would know which moment i'm exactly talking about but this did not create an icky layer of 
product or you know residue on my skin which i really liked because if you are going out in summers because delhi summers or even mumbai summers oh mumbai just has summer so <laughs> not mumbai summers delhi summers they sweat they make you sweat like a pig i am so thankful that i don't sweat on my face at least but yes when you go outside you really don't want it the weird sort of a layer on your face so that's when this comes really handy again because it's matte and it controls your sweat it will keep you know your sweat in place and it won't move which is a very big blessing for people who sweat i know it's a very big blessing also this is non comedogenic which means it doesn't clog your pores so if you are using it on a daily basis it won't clog your pores so you can be really relaxed about that and know this because a lot of girls ask me for products which do not clog their skin because clogged pores is equal to pimples is equal to acne is equal to bad skin is equal to no makeup can ever make you look like the way you want to look until unless you have smooth skin so yes this does not clog your pores so it is you know safe for usage in a daily sort of a wear as well which is why i have included like a day realistic makeup look next and lastly this is oil free so even if you're from the oily skin type you can use it and it would keep your skin hydrated and moisturized but not make it look greasy this does not look greasy at all and you will see this when i apply this because i have used sunscreens i won't like to name a brand <sighs> I wanted to get a new sunscreen, so I tried out this new brand. It just made my skin look so greasy. I looked like a greased pakora. It was just out of the oil, and oh, that was a disaster. So biggest concern for me whenever I'm buying skincare is will it make me look greasy? Will it feel heavy? And this luckily doesn't do both. I am honestly speaking, all of these things. If you've ever used the sunscreen, you can like write your testimonials in the comments down below and you know tell me what you felt about this sunscreen. I'm I'm not saying all of this because this video is an association with them. I truly, honestly feel like that from the bottom of my heart. So yeah, that's everything about the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunblock. Now let's move on to the over realistic makeup tutorial. The first step, obviously, is going to be applying my sunscreen. This will ensure my face is matte throughout the day. It stays in place. is water resistant. Doesn't smudge. Doesn't do anything. And is protected as well at the same time. So I'm just going to take. This much of sunscreen, you don't need a lot of it. That's the best part. And once you have your sunscreen, all you want to do is just like rub it between your fingers to warm it up, and then just apply all over your face, massage it in really nicely so that it sinks in and protects it from within. Then next up, I'm just gonna take my compact powder and I'm just gonna dust it all over my face to give some sort of a pigmentation to my face and just cover up. Slightly, I'm not worrying too much about it because this is a daily look, and because we have the sunscreen underneath, it will cling on to it. Once my powdering is done, I'm gonna move on to liner. I'm gonna be using a pencil liner. That, that's what I always used in college because I used it as my kajal as well. These days I don't wear kajal, so if you wear kajal, you can just wear kajal. But I'm gonna line my upper lash line. I am just doing a simple liner, no wing, no nothing. Once my liner is done, I will move on to a mascara and apply it to both my top and bottom lashes. And lastly, how can you forget the lip color? So I'm just gonna apply a really beautiful shade on my lips. And that is literally it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you didn't don't forget to comment and subscribe it would mean a lot to me and guys don't forget to check out all of my other social media which would be listed in the bottom bar as usual for you guys and I will see you guys next time till then take care bye